Welcome back gamers. I'm filming this video at 1 o'clock in the morning, but the events that I'm about to tell you about have just occurred. So I thought putting it off would make me forget the situation and wouldn't be as entertaining. I hope you enjoy this story of how I snagged a boy wearing boot cut pants. So the fair is in town right now and me and my friends decided to go. We went a little late. We went at like eight o'clock because one of my friends went to graduation and he couldn't meet up with us until like a bit later. So me, Tannis, Maggie, and Hallie all drove separately to the fair. So like the wise people we are, we decided to buy wristbands for the unlimited ticket pass. So if you buy a wristband, you don't need tickets to go to any of the rides. You just show me a wristband you go in. So while we were waiting in line for the wristbands, we were standing next to like a basketball prize area. And basically, you paid $5, you got three shots. If you made one shot, you got like a normal prize. If you made two shots, you got a jersey. And my little brother really wanted a jersey. And I also would have liked one of the jerseys. They had one of these jerseys there. And I really wanted one, so I was like, you know what, let's go. And the dude who was running the basketball event, for the sake of this video, we're gonna call him Chris. So Chris was running this basketball event, and you could hear him talking on the mic. He had a headset on, kind of like at McDonald's, y'all know how it be. Everything he was saying was being projected on speaker, so he was super loud. Everybody could hear him. So I overheard him say, if you pay, if you pay five dollars, you get three shots. If you pay ten dollars, you get seven shots. So after we got our wristbands, we went over to the basketball thing because me and Tannis really wanted the jerseys. So we were talking to this dude and he was like, do you want to do the five or ten? And I said, yeah, if you do five, you get three shots. If you get, if you pay ten dollars, you get seven shots. And he said, oh, someone's been paying attention or you've just been checking me out. I wasn't sure. Instantaneously, my eye was like this. Interesting that he would say that. So he ends up doing the seven shots and he misses all of them. And then we walk away. End of that. The whole night, we had a super fun time by the way. Like it was fun. But the whole night I was like, oh, the basketball guy is so cute. Like he's so cute, blah, 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 going on about him. He's He's from South Africa, so he has like an accent, right? So I'm like, oh, he was so cute. And then later on, I was like, I want to try and shoot. So I had like $10 left, so I ended up doing half. I did the, the three shots for five bucks. I shot the first one. I missed. I shot the second one. I also missed. And then before the third shot, I did what any sane human would do. And I said, Naruto, please give me the strength of you and all the Hokage that came before you. I was ready to shoot at that point. Once you call upon Naruto and ask for his strength, he will give it to you and he will help you achieve your goal. This has been proven many times. So I was confident in my shot. I said, I'm a hooper, I got this. But then Chris walks over to me. So Chris comes up and he's like, What did you just say? And I said, Did he recognize Naruto's name? Unfortunately, I was let down because he said, Oh, I don't watch anime. And I said, that's fair. And then he said, Odin, please help her make the shot. Why would you interrupt me asking Naruto, the seventh Hokage, to help me out? Why would you ruin that by asking a great god for help? He literally threw it all off. I was gonna make that shot. I was about to get the sickest prize, but he just ruined it. He asked Odin, so Naruto closed his ears and I didn't make the shot. So I was like, oh, that's tough. I didn't make it, whatever. So we went about 
our business. We went on more some more rides. Our other friend Ben met up with us, so we did a couple more rides, and then we were almost lost my glasses. We were about to leave, and the basketball thing is right in front of like the exit towards the parking lot. We were standing there trying to decide if we wanted to go out and eat. And like where we wanted to go, we were debating that right by the goal, the basketball goal. We were standing there talking and my back is facing towards Chris, but I can like almost sense him walking our way. And I was like, oh, what am I going to do? It's like we were low key flirty at the front end, but then like we left and it was just game over, right? Wrong. So he comes over, me and Ben are standing next to each other and he grabs my hand. I can't do this because I have two different hands, but just imagine it's his right hand. So he, I have talky fingers, don't roast me. So he grabs my hand like this and he starts thumb warring, but he also grabs Ben's hand. So we're both out here thumb warring him. He's doing Ben's with his left. I'm doing it with my right. Ben loses whatever. I thought I lost, so I like pulled away. And then he's like, oh, you didn't lose it. You didn't lose. So I said, all right, bet. So we go again. I end up winning because my fighting skills in all forms, if you wanna wrestle, even if it's just our thumbs, I'm gonna win. So I beat him in this thumb war and I bet he was like trying to talk right after, but I was like, no, 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 hold up. I just beat you in a thumb wrestling war. Can I get another shot at the basketball ball challenge? So he was like, sure. I said, that's right, because I won. Give me my prize, boy. So I walk over to the basketball ball feeling a little a little confident and I get the ball I'm spinning it bouncing it a little bit I get my shot ready he's talking but I can't hear him because I'm so in the zone so I shoot my shot there it goes there it goes turn around hit him with one of these <laughs> I missed it again I that wasn't even close it's probably my worst shot I hit it at like the top left corner of the backboard. So after that happened, we leaned against the bar that like separates where you're supposed to stand when you're shooting the goal. And my friends are standing across from us. So our backs are against this like pole, right? My friends are across from us. They can't hear a word that me and this dude are saying because it is so piercing. All the sounds from the arcade and the circus and stuff The fair, all the sounds from the fair are so loud that you literally couldn't hear someone unless they were right next to you. So dude was standing on my right, I was standing on his left, and he was talking to me, he was like, Their confidence makes people the hottest like ever. Like, I try my best to be confident when I'm running this game, and I just think like blah blah blah. Going on, I don't know what this dude's saying, I'm like, but your voice is sick. He asked like where I'm from all this stuff and then I ask him where he's from and he's like South Africa that hence the accent and stuff we're just talking and he's like I was standing like this y'all are gonna get first person point of view I was standing like this talking like this like oh yeah for sure mm -hmm. and then he's talking and I'm just like right and he's like oh you gotta stop flirting with me also I literally am like nodding and saying yes but I'm like I don't even have to flirt to flirt. Literally didn't even say a word to this guy and he's like, you're flirting with me and I'm like, but then I did flirt back and I said, I mean, hey, what can I say? When you cute, you cute, you know what I mean? So he was talking to me, just chat me up. The conversation was winding down and he said, wait before you go. And then he looks across and he looks at my brother and he went, no, never mind. have a good night. I was like, dang, boy was really about to give me his phone number. Hmm, that's tough. So we walked away. We started walking towards the exit. I said, boy, if I shot my shot and missed those basketball goals, it's because I'm supposed to shoot my shot and make it now. So I ripped off my wristband, my 20, I wasn't going on no more rides. Ripped off that wristband, grabbed a pen, wrote down my phone number, walked over to him. I said, call me when you get off. Put that out there. Listen, ladies, shoot your freaking shot. We go to Waffle House, have a blast, have a good grand time. I get home and I get a text from an unknown phone number saying, hey, 
it's Chris, blah, blah, blah. So now we're texting and he asked me to go get coffee with him. Moral of the story, if you put out there and you keep saying that someone is cute, say, oh, he's cute, oh, he's so cute. Damn, still think about that basketball boy, Chris, he was cute. If you keep putting that out there, the whole time you're at a carnival, basketball Chris might just say, hey, what's up, hello. I think I just woke up my brother. What? Good night. Okay, so I woke my brother up, so the outro of this video is going to be done with my robot voice. Thank you for watching this video. Let me know if you like this type of content. Be sure to leave a like and a comment down below, it would be greatly appreciated. Also, subscribe please, I have a family to feed. That is all for this video, thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you next time.